What's going on everyone, Kieran O'Brien here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, uh, this is a channel where I talk about all sorts of things, entrepreneurship, business, cars, and apparently desk setup tours. So that's what today's video is. I'm gonna be going through a little desk setup productivity tour. I know these are really popular on YouTube uh, and I've never made one. And I actually bought this amazing desk, which I'll talk about in a moment um, and posted on my Instagram a few weeks ago. And uh, I've been getting so many messages about it. So I figured I'd make a video kind of showing you guys my desk setup and what I believe to be uh, the diamond in the rough. I think I've found the best standing desk on the market, period, hands down, all right? And so I'm really excited about it, I'm excited to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I a little bit of backstory on this, I actually got rid of my commercial office space a few months ago because I just wasn't using it very often and my team at both of my companies is all fully remote so I don't really need an office anymore. So I found myself working at home a lot more frequently obviously with COVID and everything else. Um, and so I figured it would be a smart investment to really get my, my at home desk setup dialed in. And so that's what I did. A lot of the stuff that you're about to see in this video, I didn't have just a few months ago. I had a, just a very minimal, normal, non-standing desk and I'll just put my laptop on it. And that was kind of my work from home setup. And I had a bunch of cool stuff at the office, uh, but now I have a bunch of cool stuff at home, which is awesome. So I'm really excited about that. So without further ado, let's jump into the tour. So guys, of course, the statement piece of the desk setup is, of course, the desk itself. Now, you guys probably haven't seen this desk before um, because there's not many of them out there, um, but a little bit of backstory. I saw this desk from an ad on Facebook or on Instagram, and uh, I thought that it was awesome. I saved it, um, and I didn't end up getting it right away. I started looking into it more. I tried to figure out, all right, there's got to be another desk like this out there. I, tr I tried to compare and contrast against other brands, and it turns out that there really isn't. So, and what I mean by that is desks with drawers like this one has, um, desks with just the overall craftsmanship and the aesthetic and the quality that this one has, right? There were no other desks on the market that I could find that were at this level of quality. And so after a little bit of poking around, I said, you know what, this is the desk that I need. Um, so this desk is the 60 by 30 inch uh, standing desk by Sean Woolsey Studios. And the cool part about this desk, guys, is it's pretty much made by hand, uh, except for the, the leg portion, obviously, that's made by a machine because it's metal. But all of the wooden parts are completely made by hand by a guy named Sean Woolsey, of course, um, out in Orange County, California. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting Sean in person. I went to actually see my desk in person before it was shipped out here to Arizona. Um, and I, I got to see his studio. It is absolutely incredible. They make the highest quality, luxury, handmade wooden goods anything from chairs to ping pong tables to billiards tables, etc. Um, and they just got into selling standing desks. And guys, let me tell you, they absolutely nailed it. They hit it completely out of the park. So like I said, um, this is a 60 by 30 desk. It has not one, not two, but three soft close drawers underneath it. It's really rare to find a standing desk with soft closed drawers, which is super awesome. Another thing that I hated about most standing desks that I was looking at um, is that the the uh, control to go up and down was always so ugly. It was right there, kind of in front of your face. It didn't have like a sleek, hidden kind of uh, feature. Whereas on the Sean Woolsey desk, of course, it's hidden in this third drawer on the right. Not only is it hidden away, but it is its entire own independent unit with magnets on the bottom, four different settings plus a manual setting. You can go up, down um, without your preset settings. Um, and the actual block that's encasing the, the controller itself is made out of, of course, handmade, uh, hand cut, hand sanded wood by Sean Woolsey. Um, and it's just everything about this desk is just so nice to the touch. This is literally the Rolls Royce of standing desks, guys. And so um, it's, again, I just cannot stress enough the quality of this desk. And again, shout out to Sean Woolsey for, uh, you know, for getting me this desk. And he actually, um, you know, shipped out one that was, uh, that was already pre-made, so I didn't have to wait uh, like four weeks, which is what his uh, his back order was. So shout out to Sean. Um, I'm gonna leave all these links down below in the description. Um, and I actually have a discount for you guys, which I'll get to a little bit towards the end of the video. Now, what comes with the Sean Woolsey desk? So I said the three soft closed drawers, um, of course, you've got your controller there. Another cool thing about the desk is it has a surge protector, which 
with six built-in outlets. Now, most standing desks don't even have a surge protector built in at all. And the ones that do, the higher end ones, they maybe have four or five outlets. This one has six and two USB ports that come with it. So it makes plugging in all your all of your devices super easy. Cable management is super easy because everything's right there. Um, I actually didn't even need to do much cable management myself because there was so many mechanisms under the desk already built in uh, for cable management, which was super awesome. Um, and of course, guys, one of the selling features Features. One of the reasons that I got this desk is the wireless charger. So on the left hand side of the desk when you're sitting down at it, there's a wireless charger, not just on top of the desk, but it's actually built into the desk. Like you place your phone down on the wood and it charges. How cool is that? Um, super, super sick technology. Um, I have not personally seen another standing desk on the market with a built in wireless charger. So that's super cool. Um, and then another thing of course that I got is the monitor stand to elevate the monitor above the, the surface of the desk a little bit. It just adds so much depth um, to the desk setup, which is super cool. And then of course, under the monitor stand, there's a, sh a metal shelf as well, which provides uh, more depth, more storage. Um, and then of course, the other thing that I have is right here, this uh, desk organizer. I can put my pens in here, sticky notes, notepads, um, you know, erasers, whatever I want to put in here. And this actually is complimentary, I believe. It comes with the desk. The monitor uh, stand is extra, but this one comes with the desk. And uh, it's all, again, it's handmade, it's hand carved, super, super high quality. This is pure walnut, by the way. The whole desk is walnut. Um, I think they also have uh, another lighter color. I think it's oak. Um, and so, yeah, it's super high quality, guys. Even uh, like on the bottom, these little felt pieces. So everything is just the highest quality possible. Um, and just the icing on top right there. Um, there is a one cable system. So there's one braided cable that goes down um, that I'll show right now. It goes down into the outlet underneath my desk and all of the other things are plugged into the surge protector that's built in. So cable management on point. I absolutely love this desk, guys. Again, check out the link down below if you want a Sean Woolsey desk for yourself. Now, let's jump into the rest of the desk setup. So now that the desk is out of the way, um, the brain that's powering the desk right now is a 13 inch fully loaded MacBook Pro. It is a couple years old at this point, so I'm actually waiting. I'm filming this in October, so I think at some point later this month, Apple's coming out with a new version of the MacBook Pro. So I'm hoping to get my hands on that one when it comes out. Um, now, my monitor of choice um, is the 27 inch LG Ultrafine 5K monitor with the Thunderbolt port. Of course, it goes into the laptop. One of the things I love about it um, is that the Thunderbolt port plugs into the laptop, charges it, and feeds the, the screen, right? So you actually don't have to have a separate charger. So now my MacBook charging cable just lives in my backpack only for when I'm traveling. I don't have to take it out, put it at my desk, and then put it back when I go traveling. Um, I can just have uh, the Thunderbolt uh, cord charge my laptop now, which is super awesome. Um, that means one cable to do everything that I need for my MacBook to function properly at my desk setup. So I absolutely love the LG, LG Ultrafine monitor. Of course, 5K is amazing. My last monitor, this is a little bit of a, of a size downgrade because I had one of those crazy 49 inch Samsung monitors. Um, but I'm actually really liking the smaller 27 inch. I think it, um, it forces me to be more organized on my desktop and just keep things more consolidated. So I'm super happy with it. Um, on my left here, I have a Facebook portal. Um, I actually never, I don't think I ever would have bought a Facebook portal. It's, it didn't really appeal to me, but a buddy of mine got it for me for my birthday this past year. And I put it on my desk and it's really cool because uh, my family and I, we talk a lot on Facebook Messenger. Like that's where our family group chat is. And so I can actually FaceTime my family um, directly on the Facebook portal. It moves around, follows my face around. Um, and then when it's not being in use, it has these cool photos from Unsplash that are just kind of rotating through. It's really nice to look at while I'm working. There's just cool, super high definition photos right to my left. Um, so that's cool to look at. Um, and then of course on my right, I have a iPad Pro 13 inch fully loaded. Um, I, I have a, of course, an iPad pencil, the Apple pencil, um, where I do a lot of like drawing and sketching and writing notes and things like that. Um, so that's cool. I either have it on the stand like I did for these photos and these videos. Um, and I also have, of course, the Magic Trackpad case, um, which is super cool as well. Great for traveling. I also use it uh, with sidecar a lot when I'm traveling. So I'll have my, my 13 inch Mac Pro with the iPad next to it on the case um, with sidecar going. So I have a dual monitor set up when I'm traveling. Absolutely love that. If you guys don't know what sidecar is, definitely look into it. It's super awesome. Um, and then for speakers, I have the two HomePod minis, although I will admit, I actually use the built-in speakers in the LG Ultrafine a pretty decent amount, um, and I also use my AirPods a lot. 
Um, so I don't use the HomePods too much. Um, they are synced up so I can play music or YouTube video audio from my laptop onto the HomePods. Um, but the speakers that are built into the monitor are actually pretty solid. Um, and again, I'm usually wearing my AirPods throughout the day as I'm working. Um, so they don't get a ton of use, but they do look good here as part of the desk setup. Um, now, next, I have a Blue Yeti microphone, which is what I'm actually recording this audio on right now. It's, uh, you know, it's not the best microphone in the world, but it is, it is solid. It fits my needs. Thinking about getting something else, I'll actually take recommendations. If you guys have any recommendations for uh, super high quality microphones, I'm thinking about getting one of the Shure microphones. I've heard those are good. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what microphone I should get. But so far, I've actually been really happy with this Blue Yeti. Uh, it's been awesome and uh, hasn't failed me yet. So um, that's a that's a high quality product. I've had it forever. Um, as far as keyboard and mouse, I just have a basic setup, the Magic uh, Keyboard and Magic Mouse uh, from Apple right here. Um, this one's really cool. I'm thinking about getting the dual mouse and trackpad set up because I do a lot of scrolling and pinching and zooming um, throughout my day when I'm looking at design files and things of that nature. So I'm thinking about having both of them, the Space Gray trackpad, Magic Trackpad next to the mouse. Um, so see if I end up going down that route. Um, and then of course, guys, the uh, kind of one of the one of the things that you definitely notice when you look at my desk um, is this giant desk mat. It is the Grove made XL desk mat in dark gray. And uh, it really fits the aesthetic. Of course, it matches with all the space gray items that I have from Apple. Um, and then of course, it protects the desk. This is obviously really nice walnut. Um, and really, it's a really high quality desk and it wasn't cheap. So I want to make sure that I'm protecting the top of the desk with this desk mat and it also provides um, you know pretty much an infinite amount of space for my mouse so I don't have to have an ugly uh, uh, mouse pad I can just have this desk pad instead um, which is really really awesome so uh, as far as my chair goes I actually unfortunately don't even know what this chair is or where it came from I bought it off a friend years ago but it is one of the most comfortable office chairs I've ever sat in super uh, super nice it reclines and all that so I have no reason to go do some crazy crazy like autonomous chair, um, but maybe one day I will. I like this one for now. And I'm also standing at my desk a lot throughout the day, um, so I don't even use the chair too much anyway. Um, speaking of standing, last but not least is this ruggable mat below me. So the mat, I got it, um, I think it's a five by four, and, uh, or no, five by three. And I got it to pretty much match the exact dimensions of the desk. So from the left foot of the desk to the right foot of the desk, the, um, the ruggable mat matches almost exactly. And it's in this kind of like gray heather kind of uh, material, which looks super cool. And I got the upgraded half inch thick pad. So it's really squishy, feels nice to stand on um, as I'm standing on it throughout the day when my desk is in the, the tall standing mode, um, which by the way, it goes up to 49 inches. Um, it's really nice and my feet don't get tired. I'm not like crushing the balls of my feet throughout the day as I'm, uh, as I'm standing on them. So that's really nice. Um, and of course it kind of completes the space and it matches the desk mat very nicely as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my desk setup. If you're interested in purchasing this Sean Woolsey desk, I actually have a discount code for you guys, $100 off. All you have to do is go to the checkout and use Kieran100 at checkout. It'll give you a hundred bucks off. Um, obviously, like I said, this is literally like the Rolls Royce of standing desks. It is the nicest, highest quality standing desk that I've ever seen, um, that I've of course ever used. That's why I own it. Um, I don't see myself um, replacing this or getting rid of it anytime soon. I'll probably keep this desk for the rest of my life and it will most certainly last for the rest of my life because of how high quality it is. The craftsmanship and the build quality, especially after seeing um, Sean's studio in person, um, is just incredible. So guys, definitely, even if you don't plan on buying one of his desks, go check him out on Instagram, check out their website. They have a bunch of cool products. Like I said, all the links will be down below. Discount code Kieran100 also down below. Really hope that you guys take a look at the Sean Woolsey desk. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more videos like this of my kind of desk set up productivity tools, hacks, etc. Let me know. It's a new type of content that I'm testing out on my YouTube channel and I'd be more than happy to make some more for you guys. So with that being said, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.